Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and uh, I discovered something today, and I thought I'd share it with you. It's not that big of a deal, but let's say you've got double click on this, and we'll go Control G, and you've got all these objects grouped together, and you don't want to ungroup them, and but you need to know the size of that box right there. Well, the way I would normally do it would be to get my parallel dimension tool get on the edge to edge and it's eight eight inches okay so we know that let's just back up here now I don't really know when you would ever use this but this is pretty cool I had no clue this would happen let's take our this is our line so we can uh, I don't know what you, the real name of it but it's where you can make your zero zero so let's make our zero zero on this box. So now we got zero zero. I had no clue this would work. Hold down your shift key and grab your ruler and bring it down. Hold down your shift key and bring your ruler over. And there you can zoom in and you've got an eight by two block. Uh, I still haven't seen the you know the real reason for it uh, but it would be good to maybe send to the customer so they could kind of see you know if you're not familiar with the pick tool or the parallel dimension tool you could send this to them and or I mean you could put them anywhere just hold the shift key and and uh, I grabbed an index line just hold down the shift key and bring your rulers up to the to your artwork bring them over to that corner and then they're not on the page and it might help you you know we've changed our our zero zero and to always get that back just uh, put your rulers back with your hold down your shift key and to get it back to the zero zero just grab that little icon and it should snap right to it so now you're back at zero zero not that big a deal but I thought I'd share it with you Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.